You're listening to Radio, Radio. in the Wheel. Enjoy the show. 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 Remember, remember the fifth of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Hello, everybody. Happy 6th of November. It's just been bonfire night, and we are here to talk a little bit about the UK's favourite holiday. Matt, hello, how hello, are you doing? Hello. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I've been thoroughly bombed. I've been thoroughly... You've been bombed all fire. over. Yeah. Nice, nice. You'd love to see it. Uh, did you go anywhere fancy yesterday? Did you go see some fireworks? I saw so many people get set on fire. It was actually insane. Oh. It was really... Yeah, it wasn't... To be, it wasn't actually part of the celebrations. It no. Ju- I just happened to walk by a building that was currently on fire. Oh, that's... Um, that's... Special, but it I fit think. the theme. I, I think, think it's, I think it's lucky, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, it did make it so um, all the firefighters were sort of just standing by watching because they thought it was part of the show. Um, but actually, someone just had the house set on fire. I think it was like a cooking accident or something. I think, as a bit of a, a bit of goof and gaffin, mm-hmm. because from obviously because it's so close to Halloween, we had a, a Halloween episode last time. Yeah. That um, those firemen should be dressed up as the typical like Guy Fawkes costume. I don't know what you'd call that with like the belt buckle on their hat. Oh, and... I forgot about the belt buckle. I, oh mate, that's dredged up memory. I completely would... forgot he had a uniform. <laughs> yeah, not a uniform. I just think that was well, just that little was hat, his, didn't it? That was attire. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Why do they have the fucking belt buckles? Oh, we're both <laughs> googling. <laughs> we're just Guy we're both googling like. Guy Fawkes. <laughs> Belt yeah, buckle I think, on hat. I think it's just the way... Do you think he just didn't know how to dress, probably? Or maybe <laughs> it was... <laughs> He's just, just a fucking idiot. Because, like, everybody wore hats. Up until, like, relatively recently. Until, like, I would say maybe the 40s or 50s. Like, people were like... I don't know why. Hats were in. Hats was were it, in back in the day. It must have it? been, like, some religious thing where, like... Ooh, God will not like seeing my hair. Or something <laughs> strange. I don't know. So it, I'm not he also religious. looks like he's wearing a tablecloth. He looks like he's. I, t- I think this man just didn't have any clothes. I think he just was like, he was so poor that he was just like, I'll fucking grab anything, mate. I'll put a belt on my on my hat. I'll wrap a tablecloth around my shoulders. Doesn't matter. Well, I'll just fucking. I'll take what I can. I think if we lived, it's safe like in society now, like everybody wore hats, but like those kind of brimmed hats, not like, you know, the cool mm. flap caps and you got your beanies like we get have today. I prefer the flat caps, I think they're cool enough. Yeah, I think so too, but... Especially with a belt around it, like that's fucking <laughs> Yeah, like a baseball hat with that's... a belt, with a, like a Gucci belt around it. <laughs> Everyone should just put belts around their hats, man, like that, that's, why is fashion evolved from putting belts around different headwear? Even though I can't actually see it, but I am assuming if you if you did have a baseball hat with a Gucci belt on it, I'm assuming it would look sick. Like, yeah, obviously. You just get all the pussy ever did exist. Can we just stop putting belts on every piece of clothing? Yeah, like, just uh, two belts on your shoes, <laughs> wrapped around your legs, wrapped uh, around your arms, round just, your eyeballs, round your wrist like a watch. Just. <laughs> Just yeah. belts galore. Like, oh, can belts you ta- all over well, the place. What's, what's the time, mate? Can you just... Well, can you just oh, let me get my belt out. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I don't know, sorry, it's my belt. I, oh, I thought it was a watch. <laughs> sorry, sorry. you got really small belts. For earrings. Some oh, your earrings, your earrings are just little belts. <laughs> like miniature. Oh, wrap a belt around your ears. Oh, you don't do the toilet? Yeah, let me just undo my 70 belts that I've got. Yeah, it's like a, you're like a chastity belt, isn't it? Which is the mm. strangest thing in the world? Yeah, I never got. Is it? Is that just where they, you you can't undo your trousers? I I'm assuming so. I think was well, they're more like underneath your trousers, aren't they? Or maybe not. I don't know. Well, now I'm searching up chastity belt. Oh, wait, no, it's. Oh, I thought it was a legitimate. Oh no, it is a legitimate belt. Yeah, yeah, it's like. I'm not going but to have sex. But there's a padlock over like the cock region. Yeah, and then I you think. give the key to your loved one as a, right. s- a sexy gesture. 
Okay. I think what we found out is fucking yeah. back then people were bored out of their minds. They were bloody putting belts on their hats. They were fucking blowing up Parliament. They were. Oh my! Did you do, did you know? Here's a little fun fact for everyone. I didn't know this. Chastity belts were originally devices that were worn by women in the Middle Ages to prevent sexual intercourse. So it wasn't a chinky thing. It was. Oh yeah, a, yeah. Did you think it was a kinky thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because it that's. Was... It's like a, some sort of like religious like you're you're gonna be my virgin you're until like it's making like say like husband well, like fathers making sure their daughters are virgins until they sell them to husbands. Y- yeah, but nowadays you you think the chastity belt you just think like the little cock with the padlock on, you know? <laughs> um, like that's that's what I, I imagined. So. I didn't realize it was actually sort of a medieval. Uh, that's quite fitting then. I'm talking about chastity belts, maybe uh, Guy Fawkes had a chastity belt. Yeah, maybe he had a cock on his forehead, and that's why he had a belt buckle he on his hat. He wrapped a belt around it, because he got confused, and he was like, well, a belt should go where my dick is, so... Yeah, so like any, really so cool. if you see anywhere in in like in today's society or in any in history books, if there was a belt in any random place on a person's body, it's probably because they have a penis under there. Probably, yeah, and they don't want it escaping. Like a little two little peni on your feeties. Uh, what? I'm trying to search <laughs> up, trying to search up why Guy Fawkes wore a belt on his hat. Well, and again, I think it was. I don't think it was just him. Yeah, it must. That's just the craze at the time. Well, because I think I also think. you see like uh, a lot of them having like little plants on their hat as well, like little feathers yeah. and and. I, I suppose think, cowboys did that, didn't they? I think cowboys had, like, the bottle on the hat. Well, and, and pirates had, like, feathers on their hats as well. Yeah, like, people just and... like... De- Where did the decorating hats go? Like, this is what I mean! Nowadays. Okay, what would be the best decoration for, a, like, a, a modern-day hat? floppy dildo right on the... Um, like, a suction cup dildo just slapped right on the top of the head. I would say... What's the uh, the name of for things where when you, like, stuff an animal? What's that thing called? Murder. No, no, no. Like, the art of stuffing an animal. I can't remember the fucking least... name now. Um, the... There's a word for that? Yeah, it's like a stuffing... whole, like... Oh, st- oh, um... Right, I thought uh, for some term, reason I thought you meant build a bear. <laughs> no, no, I no. thought you meant build a bear, like stuffing a bear for some <laughs> no. reason. Tax- animal, animal came as, like, a toy animal. I'm going to have a taxidermy uh, squirrel on of right. on my um, on my Nike... Baseball hat. Yeah. Just on, t- like, standing, like, glued yeah, on. Yeah, with his arms, like, sp- spread w- wide, like he's, mm. like, celebrating. Oh, that's nice. I reckon if you went out with that, people would appreciate that. People would be it, like, that's that's a tool. Well, maybe not a tool, but that's a weird and unique um, thing. People will smile at that. It definitely is cool. It's a conversation starter. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely is. Don't definitely know what you're saying. Cool. I've ordered one right now. It's oh, coming cool. in the post. It's, it's going to be my uh, you don't next want to make year's... it yourself. I could to be fair. All right, I've cancelled the order. I'm making <laughs> it myself. So I need to somehow first kill a squirrel. Yeah, well, find there's and lots... kill a squirrel. We're in a forest right now. Uh, I was allowed back uh, with the trees. We sort yes. of brushed that over. We talked to the uh, police officers. We were like, yeah. mm. and we... they were like, okay, you're allowed. You're allowed, they they don't want to send an order. We're allowed back in the forest. We mm-hmm. built this l- nice little bonfire with a little guy forts um, atop it. Uh, so we can just go looking for stores if you want. Yeah, we had a uh, we did have to have a mi- several long meetings with the um, the council yeah. of the trees. Yeah, <sighs> they were the tree boring cunts. And they were. They but... they were. That's not like an organization. It's just a a bunch of trees. Yeah. that we had to try and talk to. It was really difficult yeah. because trees don't tend to speak normally. No. So well, it was so a it's, language It's bite. me just going around the forest, just uh, like basically getting a A4 bit of paper, drawing mm-hmm. a silly face on and just sellotaping onto trees. Which is kind of then... fucked if you think about it because you're taking a dead tree oh my God. St- and sticking it onto their relatives. So, and then talking at them. <laughs> and talking at them as if they were alive, which is really kind of side of behaviour. Yeah, it's like we just peeled their skin off, 
<laughs> stapled it onto them and go, Hello, my good sir. And slide if you took someone's father, peeled his face off, stuck it on his child, and then had a oh. conversation with the child as if it was his father. So maybe it's they've, not let, Halloween. Us, maybe <laughs> they've let us back in <laughs> out of fear, <laughs> which is just stapling their relatives onto their face. It's a ballsy play. I think it worked. Well, it did, yeah, because we're back, aren't we? We're so, back. back. We're back, and trees. the squirrels have nowhere to run. Mm. Although it was quite nice um, in, in Egypt last last week. Oh, yeah. Um, we didn't get to see much. It was warm. Yeah. No, we didn't see much. It was pretty it was dark, dark in but it, it was, yeah. But it was warm, whereas now it is, it is now November. And, yes. w- again, we're at 3 a.m. in the middle of the woods, so it is, it's pretty nippy out here. But the bonfire should keep us warm. Yeah, and so we're going to have to light that in a bit. I think we're going to. Do... Um, I think we should light it for our special guest, or like maybe yes. as a, which we'll get to in a, in a little bit longer. A little, t- a little, little bit longer. tease. Um, do you know how to light a fire? Because I never went to like scouts or anything. I don't actually, apart from like having, you know, an actual lighter and a, and a, you know, I don't. Have you done like flint and steel or like? No, like that. but I have a special way of doing it. Oh, yeah. So you go, get a squirrel, mm-hmm. and uh, I can't remember... I know there are, there's another name for this, yeah. but I can't think of Felatio. the... I can't think of the non-racist term, so I'm just going to have <laughs> to say the racist term of a... Okay. Do you know what a Chinese burn is? And also, I don't know why it's called I a do. Chinese burn, or some people... Yeah, what's what, what, Chinese what, about a Chinese burn? I don't know. Just It's just twist in your arm exactly which for some reason as a child i would ask people to do it because it felt nice anyway moving on yeah it wasn't that it wasn't oh that you painful. agree or you're a fellow fellow chinese bird i'm enjoyer. not a masochist no i don't enjoy it oh i'm not a masochist <laughs> but like it wasn't pain like people did it and were like ah, ah, and i was i was like you just twist my arm mate like no. do you want to stop I liked people just it. people just walked up to me and started twisting and i was like hello do you want to do you want to take... They, they were expecting, like, a big reaction. Like, they were going to fucking torture me. And then I was just like, could you let go, please? Why are, you, why are you twisting my arm? Well, I did have a big reaction, but it was a positive reaction. I, I like them. <coughs> oh, okay, I've got, I've got answers for you. It's a Chinese burn because it comes from the martial arts when you throw an opponent over and hold on to their arms. They, they often get burns from, like, gripping their arm and... You know, oh. throwing the body over. So am so I? Was, was, was so I'm racist for thinking it was potentially racist. Is that what? Did I do a? Did I do a, um, a double jeopardy of racism just there? I don't know. No, I think <laughs> it is a little bit racist because I don't know. Was it's people, also known as a people snake call it, bite. Or an, or am I just an Indian burn? No, an Indian burn is also a name for it. Or yeah, a like, snake like, bite. Yeah, yeah, like a Native Which American is Indian. Also, just as racist. I feel. Like. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so no. So how I light fires in the woods? I get a anyway, squirrel yeah. and I just twist their body really fast. Jesus. Because Christ. like like you know because their oh fur is kind of like prickly and dry and and like not like soft. So it's so once you get the friction going. Uh, see, I've never touched a straw, so I didn't know that they had oh. straw for fur. Yeah, they do. They have like, <laughs> straw, hairy like, That's fur. Mad. Also, if you get, if you sell a tape two uh, squares of sandpaper to your palms while you do it, mm-hmm. it's re- you have to do it when they're alive, though. Oh, yeah. Does the riddling like help the no, fire? No, it? no, it's not the. I, I think it's the the um, it's the pitch and the tone of it's the screams oh, somehow. Okay. In, I don't know the science behind it, invigorate yeah, yeah. the particles to start the fire, something like that. Obviously, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's how I normally do it. Well, it's unconventional, I'd say. Pretty unconventional, but if it gets the job done, do you, how many times have you done it? Does it have a high success rate? Uh, I've only done it uh, um, the once. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, it, it was... It did work, yeah. That's how I figured it out. I, I don't right. know what I was doing. You just <laughs> you just got still decided to just wring its neck out, yeah, and then realised that you did it so forcefully that it created sparks. Well, it was because I was trying to make my um, you know, my my squirrel hat, taxidermy squirrel. Hat, oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. it was just the wrong. It didn't look right. Mm. When I I picked it up, I you know I'm I'm fast. I'm cat like. Yeah, I yeah, chased yeah. the squirrel. Grabbed That's what it. they say about Matt. They say Matt the cat. Matt the cat. That's what they call yeah. you. 
Because you've got such fast reflexes. And I'm... And you also crawl meow. around on all fours and you have a tail. Yes. And I, like, shit on your <laughs> dinner. I don't know. Uh, I, is that a thing cats do? I I, uh, maybe just my cat. <laughs> never owned a cat, but I don't think that's necessarily a stereotypical thing that they do. My cat shits on my dinner. Okay. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe that's a you problem. But I feel like I think a lot of things are saying just somehow you, my problem. Just just can you me. Train a cat? Um, I, you know, yeah, I think you can. Think it's you just can more difficult than a dog, I'd reckon. Definitely, but also dogs. I don't like dogs. Oh, no, I do. That's, that's I, a I do. controversial opinion. I just I, I don't like, like both. I know people that say um, when you say when you tell a dog lover that you're a cat lover they go ugh like, disgusting it on and <laughs> when, if, if someone just tells me that like, dogs I'm like oh cool I, I just like cats you know I don't everyone's like are you a cat uh, are you a cat dog are you a cat person or a dog person and I'm like I like t- can I not like both do I have to no, segregate you have to cho- into no, you do. one yes you do have to choose yes cause like no cause with dogs and cats they're the same as people. There's some that are really lovely and some that are right twats. True. Like cats, I've had cats that are so cute, they just come up to you and nuzzle against you and purr and they're adorable, they're really fluffy. And I've had cats that are little bitches. And then with dogs, it's the same. Dogs, you can have a little shitty chihuahua that's barking its head off and you just want to punt it out the window. And you can have like a, a golden retriever that's the cutest thing you've ever seen. I so think... I think it's a bit stupid to be like, oh, don't like any dogs true i think Do- i agree that the xl bully should get uh, like all of them should be put on a spaceship and launched into what's space the XL bully? it's the th- it's the one that's um about to be banned in the uk oh i yeah i saw that it's a american bulldog yes is it? it is yeah so it's like yeah. the it's like the bulldog family but like the biggest and scariest <laughs> and the most child eating <laughs> one that you can get but I've seen quite a lot of bulldogs that are really cute. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't I reckon can't it's pretend. to do. With, I don't know if it's to do with the the breed. I feel like it's to do with the owners. True. Which is like, but when you see you like, just, you just, it's racism. You don't just say, <laughs> you don't say, oh, this whole species of animal, fucking dickheads, don't like any of them. Well, um, okay, but when you uh, on recent because obviously once it was like announced that they were going to ban them all uh there was obviously protests and when you see the caliber of person that attends these protests it's you're like it's oh, all okay. like jason waller <laughs> yeah they are they're all just jason waller going <laughs> just fucking sits for beefy guys don't like i want my fucking dogs yeah they not, not my, my dog dogs. is a bloody princess mate and he doesn't uh, bite anyone he only rips your arms off if you hurt at him yeah. Oh, if you've got food in your ass. <laughs> I saw in- uh, interviews with these people where they were literally one sentence go, I don't know, well, I don't know why people find them intimidating. Just look at him, he's a cute little boy. And I just, I like him because I feel safe when I'm walking around some dodgy areas. <laughs> he said, Fuck because, he, because he really intimidates other people. <laughs> like they fucking rip your throat out with little effort. <laughs> oh my God, it's just people are dumb. I think they are cute though, I can't like them. I think they're cuter than other dog breeds, I'd say. What's the what's the what well, if you had to ban a dog breed, which one would you ban then? Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. What are they what are they doing? Yeah. No one the only it's funny how Chihuahuas are like the universal symbol for you are an annoying person. Yeah. Like if you have a Chihuahua like you see in Hollywood, it's always the, you know, the white blonde with the like, annoying voice and the rich yeah. You rich girl. It's always that. It's always the annoying person as a chihuahua. It's never a cool, nice person. So do you, do you think that's why? Well, because you said earlier, you think it's like it's the it's the owner who is the problem. So is I, that why maybe. all chihuahuas are dickheads? Well, everyone thinks <laughs> the, the, the chihuahua as like a breed are dickheads because the only person in their right man, mind would go, I want a dog. I'm going to get a chihuahua. Are all horrible people. <laughs> yeah, they're literally like, I want something that's annoying and yappy, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't really understand the hype behind a chihuahua. Like, I, there's probably nice chihuahuas. Don't get me wrong. But like... Have you seen one? Ever. I've no never seen one, but then again, I don't really um, w- want to be with 
around people who have chihuahuas as dogs. Because, again, they tend to be fucking annoying. Yeah. Um, but also, like, I don't get the whole, like, small, ratty little dogs that... I'm, I am I love a fluffy dog, and I love a big dog. Um, mm. You know, something to cuddle. You know, whereas little ratty little chihuahuas with no hair, you know... Like, like, they're scratchy, they're rough, like, their hair yeah. isn't actually soft, and it's like, this is not a nice thing True. to have in your yeah. house. Like, well, it's yappy, it's annoying, it's not... What What is the benefit of having a chihuahua? I don't see a benefit. They are little cunts. But have you seen those do- some dogs that are, like, I'm really bad at dog breed names, but, like, are, like you said, they're really cute and small and, fl- like, really fluffy. They literally look like a... Walking oh no, I do like fur. them. But when you see like them, but when you see them like wet, they just look like oh a yeah, chihuahua. They're drowned, like, drowned. Yeah, drowned and then I, and then I feel this. I feel like I'm being catfished by dogs. <laughs> I'm like you. I, I thought that you were cute and nice. It's well, basically like the girls who are in reality like the chihuahua owning girls who are mm-hmm. rich and stuck up and like horrible girl. But they but they act like they're really sweet and nice. Until you yeah. start going out with them, and then, and then you, they're really mean off. with you, and, and they're really controlling, and then they take all your money, and then they fuck your best friend. That seems rather specific of a situation. Are you okay? I hate her. Oh. Was she a chihuahua? She, Did, she, she ate, she ate my, my squirrel. <laughs> Is this a chihuahua? Or, uh, can we just clarify? Is this a dog? Or is this a human being that we're, that we're talking about now? Bit of column A and a bit of column No, no, hey. not a bit of that. That's I'm not sorry. Do you, not re- re- do you not remember our, our uh, guest from a couple of episodes ago? We have what? amazing things happens happens in this podcast. Yeah, well, amazing. That's a... Uh, I, I don't know if I call it amazing, more like freakish. Mm. And 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 fucked. Well. Uh, I wanted to say there was we recently went out together and we sat in the bar um, and we saw. Do you remember those two dogs? That little yappy oh dog. Oh my god! Yes. Just fucking. Just this border collie walked past. Border collie was the cutest thing ever. It was yeah. really chill. And this yappy dog was like turning on the leash, like I'm gonna fucking kill you. Let me yeah, on him. Yeah, it literally and was this, dragged to the and table. This border like... collie was like, all right. Chill, dude. Like, Chill calm down. down. <laughs> he was like so nonplus. He was like, "Why is this little rat trying to attack me?" Yeah. Like, and then the ratty the dog, about body? an hour later, was leaving the the pub and mm. started trying to say hello to us. And I was like, "Fuck off, you little cunt!" Like, you're being horrible to that other dog over there, and you just want to come up to me and say, "Well, hello, how are you?" <laughs> no, I is saw. That what that I thought that was a. I thought that was a big dog that came up to us. I can't really remember. I don't know. Dogs are dogs, mate. Anyway, dogs are I dogs. feel like it's time to introduce... Dogs are dogs! I feel like it's time to introduce our special <laughs> guest. It's a very special guest. A very special, yeah, sorry. He's come a long way. He's, He's come, come a, a long, way long way through time and space. Yes, to be with us here today. To give you an exclusive, the other side of the story. So I think while... Uh, I think I am very interested in this person, so I'm going to... I take the reins of this interview, okay. and I yeah, want you, I want you, Scott, to start trying to light the bonfire. So find it. So first step one, find mm-hmm. a squirrel, and then okay. and then you just like rub him a lot in your hands, and then okay. when he starts making the yeah. noise, then you know you're close. You know you're close. And then you aim his bum hole to the flame, to the to the oh, to the gosh. bonfire, and then you just pray and hope for the best. Okay. Okay, I think I can do that. Cool. Uh, Right. All right, I'll see you in a I'll, bit. I'll be off. Okay. Okay. So, everyone, today we've got a very, very special guest. It is none other than Guy Fawkes himself. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello there. Mr. Guy Fawkes. How on earth am I even speaking to you? I thought you were dead for one h- hundreds and hundreds of years. Well, just uh. It sort of happened, didn't it? There was basically this portal that happened, and I went through it, and I'm here. That is, I don't know if you have the magic power, or I do, because we were just talking about you, like, the other week. Because oh, it's, yeah. it's a very, this is the day that we celebrate, well, we kind of kind of celebrate you, to be honest. In, what? The, in this country, yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. 
Yeah, did you not know? Oh, that's lovely, that is. Well. That's really nice. What? It's kind of, it's, it could be nice. It depends how you, do you not know about it? It's, it's, it's we call it bonfire night. Bo- bon- what? Bonfire night. It, what is it called that then? So, so you know when you died? Yeah. You were, I'm, assu- I'm assuming you were executed. Yeah, I was. Yeah, because you, because you tried to blow up parliament, yeah. What? You try to blow up Parliament? Uh, no, no, not that's not me. Are you, I mean, sorry, are you are you Guy Fawkes? I'm Guy. Uh, yeah, I'm Guy Fawkes. With the guy with the the belt on his hat. Yeah, I got my belt on my hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought I thought so. As soon as I saw you, you I was it? like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's stylish, isn't it? Um, I've actually got six s- belts under my trousers as well. Oh, okay, well that's nice. That's, that's, that's what well, they don't tell you. But um, f- from yeah, we celebrate. The fact that you, uh, I don't have to tell you this now, that um, you f- you tried to commit an act of terrorism and tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament and you, you, f- you failed. Uh, so, I didn't, I'm not a terrorist. Well, I'm, is this about the, is this about the dump powder in the, in the parliament, in the basement of parliament? Yeah, yeah, in the cellar with like, there was like that dozens was, and dozens of barrels of. I was uh, the terrorist, that, that was, what? I was be- I was best mates with a uh, with one of the the people in Parliament, right. and I was gonna I was gonna throw him a party. So I got the dump powder in the basement, and that was a, just a where highly we dangerous stopped. explosive. Carry on. Yeah, we were doing big fireworks. Celebrate his birthday. In a dank, horrible like cellar beneath. No, 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 no. So we restored him. It was a surprise. So we had to, you know, he wasn't gonna go down there. We had to we had to do it in a place where he where he wasn't going. You know. Right. So I sawed it down there. So you didn't want to just kill the king? No, no. Oh, well this is And then awkward. they fucking, they, they took me. I, I didn't, they didn't even tell me why. I was down there, minding my own business, setting up the party. I got the balloons ready. I got the batters up. And I was all set. I was just about carrying the drum powder out to sort of set up the firework display. And these guards just came in, fucking took me, and then killed me. Oh, well, so uh, we so, uh, have. You said a bit like the injustice of like what happened. No, we um we well in what we're taught and we celebrate is that you didn't like the king. You oh, took I love the king. Dozens and cool. dozens of barrels of explosives underneath the parliament, and you tried to blow it up to kill one person, but you would end up killing thousands of people. <coughs> um, what? <laughs> Why would I? If I wanted to do that, I had fucking tea with the king. You had tea we, with the king. We Can were I... best mates. I was mates with his friend. What's his name? Was... What? The king. The king, King James. Oh yeah, okay. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> I haven't done enough research. Um. Well, it's your, it's your, your, your best friends of him. What do you mean research? Yeah. Uh, I think you're right. I think King James sounds familiar. Oh, okay. Because obviously oh, we're I'm taught we were taught or I was taught um, about it when I was like I don't know ten years old. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore the typing. <laughs> <laughs> how did you, how have you got a computer, Mister Guy Fawkes? Oh, it was King James first. It was King James first. I was friends with the council. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the Scottish uh, one. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. <laughs> Scottish as the day he was born, he was. Uh, basically, yeah, I was friends with the town, so I had tea with him quite a lot. We were sort of, we were sort of mates, and I. Were I you, were you, him. were you mates or were you roommates? No, we weren't. Room- we were like, a friend of friends, so we knew each other. It was cool. Okay. We didn't really have a connection, but like, I was more friends with his council members, so that's why I was setting up the. Uh, Okay. The party for him, and then it just fucking killed me. So was the king about? Was was he invited to the party as well? Yeah, yeah, he was there. Well, he was gonna be there. It did, party did happen. So, from what you've heard, from what you know, what we believe, how do you think this came about? Of this lie, like, why would they lie about it? What's the what's the reason of making this I, all up? Well, it's a bit mean, isn't it? Really, like. No, like no. Did did the king like did actually dislike you and wanted to like defame your name for cent centuries to come? And do you know we we create little you know like 
uh, statues out of you of made out of sticks and oh, we set them on fire. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I feel horrible telling you this. You, I, set, you set me up. That's a yeah. bit harsh, isn't it? Well, you did try to kill the king and thousands no, of other people at the same... I, I was trying to set up a birthday party. You set me on fire. I just... Even though you're here in front of me, and I don't... I don't no, no disrespect, but I, I, I kind of just don't believe you. I was... Right. Okay, you, 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 need, you need to explain this to me really clearly, otherwise... Right. My... Gerard, right, was my mate. Gerard. He was on the council. He was in Parliament. Okay. King James, a friend of a friend. Yeah. He was he was tall, and we I had no ill ill feelings towards him. He was he was chill. We played we played croquet on the weekends. Ooh, we had croquet. dinner together sometimes. Like we were all uh, sort of a, uh, a friendship group, and basically I went to James one day. We were, we were the lads. We were the lads. And I went to James one day, and I was like, right, Gerard's birthday's coming up. Uh, can I... Do you have a place where I can sort of keep all the stuff for his party so he doesn't know what's happening? And King James was like, yeah, uh, I've got a good place. It's down in the... Oh, sorry. Oh, I should do his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Stop Oh, <this>. right. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I don't King, King James. I got a good place. Mm. So this is me trying to do a store shot. I got a good place. It's down in the cellars. I don't think so you're taking I, this very seriously, Mrs. Forks. I'm trying to be a st- We're on the funny radio. I'm trying to be, a, you know. <laughs> no, the Mrs. James. <laughs> and that's just mean. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I'm, I still see you as an absolute you. terrorist and a murderer. I'm not right. So. I'm not a terrorist, and I don't appreciate the fucking slander. Oh, oh, okay, all right. And I'm okay. getting really angry now because okay. I'm just, I'm, sorry. I'm trying to have a birthday party with my mate, and I was just complete injustice of it, and I don't understand why you're picking on me. Okay, because... I apologise completely. Carry on with your story. So James was like, "Yeah, there's a cellar," and I didn't use that because no one goes down there. It's just it's dirty and grimy. So I was like, "Great," just like and. You. It's, and that was really mean. That was well, really unnecessarily mean. And you really hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. But. Thanks. You are from a time where they don't have. They're not the clean. You know, that is have... true. No, I am covered in filth right now. Yeah, you kind of smell as well. I do. Yeah. You, I, smell, I, of, I you just... smell of shit and, and gunpowder. Yeah, I, ju- I have shat myself many a time. Yeah. Uh, well, when I went through the portal, it was a really weird feeling. And it did make me shit myself. So, so I have. So you went through the pool just as, like, you're about to die, or, or you were like they were no, taking no, you away. No, I died. Or... You I died. died. Oh, so you, you're co- oh, so you're from hell. Yeah. Uh, well, no. You know when uh you get decapitated and they uh like, oh yes. your, bo- your heads to the live uh for like a few seconds. This happened to me many times. Yeah. So basically, I got decapitated. My head. The portal opened up where my head was falling. And then the portal reconstructed my body, and then I came here. Oh, okay. So I actually did die, but now I'm alive again. I see. And thankfully... A miracle. The, the portal gave me my, my hat back with the belt on. This is, this is the first place you visited on your portal portaling adventures. Well, I didn't, I didn't plan to visit this, but I just spat me out here, and then immediately... Uh, you told me up and went, oh, hello, Mr. Fultz. Would you like to right. be on a radio yeah. show that no one listens to? And I was like... Um, excuse me. Yeah, okay. This is extremely pop- popular. We have that, five that was, viewers. That was his exact words. Whoever called me, his exact words were, would you like to be on a radio station that nobody listens to? Basically, you will come on, you will talk about yourself, and no one would care. That, that was his pitch For to me. For fuck's sake, I was Scott. Like, I was like, that sounds really good, that does. So I... Yeah, you spoke to you, yeah, you spoke to Scott. Scott is not the best at promoting, promoting this saying? podcast. He needs to be a bit more... Oh, I need to work, talk to him. He's still over there. He's, so we have actually a... Um, if you look over there, oh, we yeah. see, you see a massive uh, pile of sticks that kind pile of... Pile of sticks, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like you, doesn't it? What's the... Uh, yeah, what's the thing on top? 
the uh, that's it's me. A, it's a, a yeah, man. a man, and uh, with you know, it's got a hat on and the, the belt buckle. You're really to... you're the second most famous thing about you, by the way, is the the belt buckle on your your hat. So you're you're a terrorist no, and, and a trendsetter. So I'm so glad that fashion caught on because I was like, I love my fucking belt hat. I think it's I think it's really cool. Yeah. You know? So I'm glad that it's taught on. Does everyone wear bow hats around here? Um, uh, n- uh, no, no, not really. I'm I'm right. trying to get it, I'm trying to get right. it, get it back. You've you've inspired me actually. That. Yeah. Uh, not that's the, nice. the the belt on the hat, not the terrorism. I I don't I still think I didn't that's... do terrorism. Okay, well pot- potato. You may or may not be a terrorist. Of then. So we light it on fire, and uh, we kind of just drink. And watch it, and think do about you, you. So do you, do you take me off first? No, no. We the whole point is that you'll burn it. We like to see you burn, burn alive. Because so you obviously wanted to kill the king and set him on fire and like. I don't know just, where. I don't so know where this is what this, this is what this is what uh, this is your comeuppance that you spend like of centuries and centuries of images of you being burnt like how you wanted to burn the king. But I didn't even. I didn't even do anything. And also, so even though we we nowadays, this is a very complicated history that you might not, you, you obviously not aware of because you, you're from a, a, a hundreds of years ago. But we we none of us really like the king in the UK or the government really. But okay. we we also we we're still sad that you tried to blow it up. So yeah, what, even though what, many what of us fuck? would what like to blow that? it up today. So you you just made your fucking hypocrite. So right. You, so you, you hold a grudge for like three hundred years. Mm-hmm. Has there not been a ta- has there not been a terrorist attack since then? Oh yeah, well, hundreds. Yeah, yeah. It's worse. There's been hundreds of attacks. Ta- uh, well, and they and they've well, actually, they, they, yeah, they actually killed happened. people. Yeah, well, yeah, they, they killed was, people because they were actually good. They they you know even though they were horrible, not good as in, um, they, they were bad people. Uh, they were bad people, but they were good at what they were trying to do. They were so. There were more. There were successful hold terrorists. On. Hold on. So and you were a failure. You've chosen yes. to select someone, me, who mm-hmm. didn't fucking do anything. I'm not a terrorist, and you've chosen for three hundred years to burn me on a fucking pillar when actual people have killed actual people. Why don't you burn them? Well, they're already burning in hell, and you know I died. I don't. I don't need to be burnt every fucking year. I'm dead. Good point. But I, this just feels fun. I don't know. It's a fun. We we set fire. It's basically uh, this. It's a sadistic thing about the fucking. Hell. We don't have any of it. We live in a horrible country. We don't have anything else to celebrate. So we've decided. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good thing. We'll pick that one. So you actively just celebrate the horrible execution of me every year. Mm-hmm. Remember, remember the fifth of November. That's What's a, that then? It's a little poem that we, because we all have to remember this. That you're what you tried to do, and it was absolutely disgusting and horrible. Why don't you remember the actual th- atrocities that happened? Why uh, do you remember? Th- well, I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember, remember them. They killed people. What? Uh, yeah, they're uh, icky. They uh, people die. That's uh, I don't like thinking about it. So, so you just fucking made. You just made up a story about me, disparage my name, fucking burn me on the stage every year when I haven't done anything wrong, and there's actual criminals, there's actual mm. rapists and murderers and terrorists, and you just, what, you just let them go? They don't matter. Just fuck, it. fuck them. We don't need to remember them, do we? Yeah, I don't want to... Why would... What, like, what, why what, are you remembering rem- something that did happen? I didn't what, do anything. Well, I, we don't want to celebrate a successful terrorist. That would be insane. But why don't you celebrate the death of a terrorist? Because you you failed and we we won. We beat you, the good guys. I was like trying me. to plan a birthday party. What do you mean you yeah, fucking won? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, if I, Gerard was here, man, he would tell you. Wait, uh, why did why did the tin Why did the tin tell me? He was in on it. He knew that I fucking wanted to do that birthday party. I suspect and tell me if i'm way out of base here but was there some sort of you know you the king gerard some sort of love triangle perhaps 
No. I mean, no. we had orgies every oh, week. right. And that's but not really a normal? love triangle. Yeah, that's what we did back in the day, you know? Oh, we really? just got everyone in the council, on King James's council, and then me and a couple of, you know, the friend of friends that were interested, we all went round to King James's palace, and we just fucked. Mm. To be fair, I think that uh, that tradition still stands. Obviously, I'm... Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm in, inside of a lot of things. I think not a lot of the people out there listening to this may know this, but mm. that's still, that tradition um, is true, and it still lives on today. Big old Boris and, oh, and R- R- Rishi, Rishi Sunak and the uh, and Char- Charlesy Charles. So no one's tried to blow them up then? No. Cause that's odd. Why? Why would we want to blow them up? Well, they sound like assholes, just from the very limited... From just from their names. Just just from the names, I don't fucking tell the twats. I, I gotta agree with you, they all are horrible. Oh, and... yeah. Well, Tim James was quite nice, I liked him. But, but he, was, Tim, but he Tim... was a king, so he was a dictator by definition. Well, he was chosen by God. Oh. You... Yeah, that's how Tim's work. Chosen you, by God. You still believe in God, even though you've been te- magically teleported... Through Wait, space you and time. Me? I reckon that was John. It was Jesus that did this. Well, it was the same fucking thing, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Jesus and God, they're like. I've got a question. Do you Go at all, Jesus? Do you still wear belts around your cocks? Because uh, that was a big thing back was in the it? day. <laughs> yeah. Belts. You just have a massive. Ass- is that so? Oh, oh. So is the belts on the hats to signify that you're? Uh, you know, you partake in the uh, sexual acts, is it? No, not particularly. We just liked belts quite right, a lot. Okay. Everyone had belts on their hats, but only a few people had belts on their cocks. And how did you know? Obviously, is it like underneath the trousers, on top of the chat? Tra- like, is it obvious that you're wearing having a belt on your cock? Or no, I mean. Well, because it wasn't really an open thing. I didn't have orgies with everyone. It was a very exclusive orgy. Because it was King James and all of his fuck like councils. So it's like, it wasn't like you walk up to someone in the street and you see the belt and go, oh, I'm going to fuck you. Like, that wasn't, it was just, just us. I don't know if anyone else so, had orgies. I didn't know. Well, did orgies. you plan on having one at the party then? Uh, yeah, yeah, well... It sort of develops into a thing. It wasn't really planned. It's more more natural than that, I think. You know. So was the gunpowder not... part of the part of that as well? No, that would be dangerous. That'd be really. I don't know. I thought. I think that would maybe bring it to a new level. Do you not think? Do you like? Do you get exploded? Do you ins- like? Is that a thing? Well, a uh, I just. I don't know. It's just an idea. Think oh, maybe on, be messy. would you like that'd to be, try? Maybe that'd be messy and dangerous. Any no, of you I, try? A well, uh, well, do you have any royalty in your? In is your that is, is that no? Is that a deal breaker? Is it? Yeah, you try sort of either you don't be, you know, friends with a royal or you don't be royal. I feel like, like okay, I'll introduce that's you. That's my type. So just royalty. Okay. Yeah. And and friends of royalty. I'm not. I like the royal circles because also they have great snaps at these orgies. They've I got think little nibbles, you know, little tishas. I think Scott's pretty royal. Um, oh, is he? Yeah. So I'll introduce you. He's still. He's oh, he's got a squirrel now. He's got one. He's and he's. That's mad. He's just ringing it out, so it'll be on fire soon, and then. That's maybe... an interesting way to light a fire. Yeah. You know, back in the olden days, we had a really sort of. Uh, we had a really old-fashioned way of, of lighting a fire. Yeah, um, what's we, that? We basically got this, this metal lighter out, and we flipped it, <laughs> and we and it just made a fire. We just... And then we just set set fire to the to the uh, twins. Well, well, my way is, is more entertaining. What? Yeah. You I grab it, you wring its it. neck out. And you, you, you hear just the scream itself. I'm sorry, you seem sorry. a lot more sadistic than me. I didn't do anything, and you're over here killing animals for the fun of it. Killing, I feel like this you, is tried a bit to, you tried to blow up thousands of people. I, Squirrels what? are like useless, like foul, horrible demons that deserve what I give them. I believe in Christianity, and even I know that that's definitely not true. And 
One, uh, I didn't try and blow up. It was a, it was a bird that by it. Well, I was storing it. There was no fire. It was very <sighs> clear. I put up signs everywhere. If you go to the ruins, you can probably see there's signs all around the dungeon saying, oh, no, no fire in here. Keep out. And two, I didn't fucking kill it. You I have killed. You've you've snuffed out live. You've fucking killed these squirrels. It's a bloody girls. squirrel. I, I haven't killed anything. I haven't killed a single thing. So it doesn't seem fair to me that I'm the one, out of all these people that have killed people, it doesn't seem fair to me that I'm the one being burned on a stake every year. Well, it's not mine. It's, it's, uh, I, I, it is weird. But, you know, it's tradition, you know, burn him up, kill him, and... That's a really fucked tradition. Do you do that with anyone else? Does um, anyone else just, just, b- just sadistically, ritualistically kill people? I thought we moved on from that. Is that what we do? Is Christmas or... No, yeah, Easter. You kill people at Christmas! No, no, we celebrate, isn't it, like, Father Christmas, Santa... I no, am I getting it wrong? Santa dies at Christmas. Maybe just well, my the house. The story's changed there, isn't it? Do you burn him on the stage as well? Uh, we do burn him in my, the fireplace. We do in my house, but I don't think that's a a, a, a uh, nationwide a yeah, tradition. Yeah. No, yeah, but we nationwide we do set you on fire. But just in my house, we set Father Christmas on fire. Yeah, seems a bit harsh. It just seems a little bit harsh. He's a bit weird. Seems Father like Christmas, the, the the tra- he has slaves of elves working for him, and you know he's and he goes and he only and he's lazy. He's a lazy cunt as well. Yeah, they just well, only one works day one we... day a year. He, yeah, he does. I mean, we've had, we have sort of you know Christmas hasn't changed a lot since back in the day. Do you uh, still get coal in your slot in? Um. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not, my family does because we use that to to set. Father Christmas on fire. Yeah. Oh, right. So yeah. you don't use wood, it's just coal. I suppose it's different for the seasons, isn't it? Different holidays, different yeah, yeah. methods of burning. Yeah, so when does gasoline come into Gasoline it? is, I think, is what we're going to do to um, Margaret Thatcher. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, do you burn her at the stage as well? That would be a holiday. Yeah, yeah, so we use gasoline on her. I don't know how I know my uh, Thatcher on... is. You, you, you know. I, she is. I came She's... here, read a book about Margaret Thatcher, and then you told me. That's you, li- no, you listened to yesterday's, uh, <laughs> yeah, like last yeah, week's yeah. podcast. So, yeah, we so... use six coal, coal on Santa. We use six and fire, uh, wood on you, and right. gasoline on uh, on Margaret Thatcher. And we use, um, like, you know, and we use. Uh, so, when did you burn her? We do that on. Uh, July the fourth. That's interesting. Yeah, because that's uh, 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 I think a lot of the references I could try to make to you in this conversation you're really not gonna understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't really have. I was in the sixteen hundreds yeah, when well, I died, so six, I don't well, really well, have. What else happened in the sixteen hundreds? I don't even know if I if I know America exists. No, I don't think you. <laughs> I don't think I. <laughs> Wait, what did? I think you might. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe some people, some people have heard of it. Uh, um, <laughs> hold on, let me just share something. Uh, oh, it's... no, no. Oh I, no, I do. I do, do know it exists. Really famous, yeah. do, do you? Okay. Yeah, the Indians over They're there. They're not Indians. It's India, isn't it? Oh. You landed in India. No, 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 no! It's it's a new place. Oh, it's 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 That's not cold. India. They're not in. They don't look like India. Have you met an Indian? An no. actual Indian? I haven't. I've literally lived in the same street for the whole of my life. Never left. Yeah, because you had to, you guys had to be like you know prejudiced against other forms of Christianity. You were that you know. Yeah, we don't like don't like each other. Yeah, weird. I'm Catholic. Um, yes, and well, and this this is brought up a little bit of tension between me and James because James is non-Catholic. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's not really a big deal to be honest because when when a when a non-Catholic and a Catholic get together, initially there's a bit of like oh I don't know about this, but yeah. 
but King James had a massive cock. And oh, when, oh, he, right. when he took that out, it was just sort of... Forgot all, about it. All beliefs were forgiven. I don't care. You were all you know? the sons and daughters of Christ when, when that yeah. thing came out. Exactly, the cock united us, and, and he had a belt on it, which I appreciate, because I, I love a good oh belt. Oh, God. You I'm going to get a belt f- and slap you around the face with it, you wow. terrorist. I don't, th- I don't think you're very open-minded. No, I, I, like... I, I think I've made my mind up, and... We didn't make... You... It's not I, much of a, you didn't make it up. You, you, you had an opinion and you're stuck with it and you're refusing to, even though I have evidence and I'm presenting my end of the story. Everybody listening to this it. now, I want you to continue with the um, beautiful and age-old tradition of setting fire to Guy Fawkes, oh, fuck please. Oh, off. No, no, this fuck man off. is a liar. Why don't you burn us on Bin Laden or something? We do, yeah, yeah, we do that as well, yeah. Oh, okay, that's... that's, that's a, yeah, we that's use a um, we use pro- propane on it for him. Ah. Uh, you burn a lot of people. Is that just a British thing? I Because we, did, we didn't burn... It. Well, and actually, no, we burned quite a lot of people, but they were live people. Yeah, they, they were witches. Like, yeah. Yeah. So they deserve, they were demons basically. So they deserve to be yeah, yeah, in yeah. cahoots with the devil. So that's understandable. So, so was so was Osama bin Laden and Margaret Thatcher. He was and probably Santa. A, yeah, cahoots with the devil. All of them are demons. Yeah, but I'm not. I did, I'm a quite a nice guy, I think. Well, you kind of you kind of look like a bit devilish, and your you kind of look you know your your mustache. I've got a goatee, and, and yeah, yeah, that's sort of kind but, of known what I think the devil has sort of goatee. I'm sorry, have you fucking met the devil? Uh, How do you know he has a Jyoti? Uh, you... yeah. I'm from humble Britain in, in the 1600s, but I, I don't think you've evolved to the point where you've met the Antichrist. Well, uh, he's, I don't know. Uh, I feel like you're bullshitting now. I feel like you're actually okay. making shit <clears> up, <throat> and I don't appreciate it because it's slander against my name, and I didn't do it in the wrong. Well, let's agree to disagree. I want to thank you, Guy Fawkes, for coming onto this podcast. Oh, a portal's opened up. Oh, can you see that? Oh, oh Ali's lit the fire. Scott's lit the fire. Look, we'll just see. You're burning now. You're burning, and you, you want to watch it? No. All no, right. I'm good, because you're a fucking asshole. All right, fuck off. Fuck it, back Ooh. in your portal pool, and me and Scott yeah, are going s- to sit here and watch you burn. You you're burn, a sadistic you little, little fuck, fuck you are, you no, know no, that? fuck off back to your portal. Sadistic little all, fuck. You're going to go you, die, you, you died, I'm alive, you're dead. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like Britain anymore, <sighs> this, this is shit, this is shit. You hear that, this you hear just... that, that's me breathing with my lungs that are fuck functional. You. Fuck you, you're dead. Fuck off, leave. Fuck off. See ya. Scott, Scott. Yep. That's you got it on fire. Yeah, yeah he was a it's, dickhead. It's touching. I hate it's never touching. having him on. Wow, he's probably why well, he died, didn't he? Yeah, he tried to make out that he wasn't a terrorist. <laughs> it clearly is. It yeah. clearly is. Evil man. Sorry, I'm all worked up now. Yeah, it's all right. I've got a nice bottle of wine, and we oh, can sit here, you. cuddle under this blanket. And we can just watch him fucking burn to death. Did this screw work? Yeah, yeah, it worked pretty well. Uh, can is he still is he dead? Uh, I did twist his body several times round, uh, um, so I'd have to say yes. He, well, he I'll uh, I'll taxidermy him and I'll um, I'll put him on out and I'll give it. He's to He's a bit you. mangled. Do you? Well, I'm gonna make I, it for I you. I wound him out like a sponge, so like. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make it for you. So if it looks. I'll just if it's sure. if you're fine with that, you know. Not, but okay. Well, this is, this is what you're gonna get. It's not my like when I do it. I'm delicate, but I still I still get the job done. Oh, I know. Oh, I know about that. I'm delicate and I get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, aren't you just? Anyway, that's a lovely little insight into the past. Was it enlightening for you? Not really. Okay. Well, fuck it then. Who who needs them? Who needs historical accuracy when you've got sadistic rituals of burning people? You know? I hope the trees liked it. 
Oh god, we're burning the trees. Oh shit. <laughs> we're burning oh, we're burning the trees. Isn't that how we got kicked out the last time? Oh fuck. No, well no, we're not kicked out for fucking, but this is equally as but this is murder, so oh Jesus oh. Christ. I'll try we to We have I'll, to apologize. I'll talk to the tree guys, the council yeah, of trees. Okay, well Thanks for listening to Radio in the Weeds. Make sure to tune in next week for jokes, gabs, and general tomfoolery. Bye-bye!